Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Claudio. Today we're making an awesome recipe, very, very simple, yet delicious. It's a puff pastry pizza. You'll see it's like the easiest thing in the world to make. You can customize it as much as you want and it'll turn out amazing. So let's get cooking. So now we're gonna take a look at what we're gonna use to make this puff pastry pizza. So if you come on over, ingredient number one, obviously puff pastry. This is something you can find in any supermarket. It's usually in the frozen aisles. It's pre-made for you, which is amazing. Uh, all you'll wanna do is actually just let it defrost at room temperature for two hours before using. We also have some homemade pizza sauce. We have some mozzarella cheese, some olives that we're gonna be slicing up. We have some tomatoes we're gonna be slicing up as well, and some fresh parsley that we're gonna be dicing up. All right, now for a puff pastry, we just took it out of the package. Um, you can see it's just one fine sheet. We just wanna roll it out a little bit, smooth all the little nooks and crannies in there. Okay, so we moved our puff pastry onto a parchment lined baking sheet. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is just fold over the edges. We're gonna be making a little bit of a crust. So just fold them over. Not much, maybe a centimeter or two. And if you want, you can get kind of fancy with the corners and just pinch them. All up to you. And now we start to assemble. So first thing I'm gonna do, some tomato sauce. Just scoop it in there and spread it out. You want a nice light layer of sauce. This is gonna be a nice light pastry. So the pizza is gonna be nice, perfect for summer. Excellent, then we go with our toppings. So I'm just gonna layer some tomatoes. You don't wanna overdo it with tomatoes, but you wanna make sure they're kinda all over the, the pizza. There we go. We have our olives. Just gonna sprinkle a few of them on there. Perfect. We have some parsley I'm gonna put. And our mozzarella cheese. I've grated it and we're just gonna Crumble it nice on there. Perfect, I've saved some leftover parsley because I'm gonna sprinkle it on top after. So now I've preheated my oven. I've actually preheated it to 475, which is interesting because we're actually cooking at 400. The reason we do it to 475 is the moment I open the door, we're gonna lose 40 or 50 degrees. So by um, preheating it to 475, when we open the door, it'll drop, but it won't drop below 400. So when we put it in, we're gonna instantly change the temperature to 400 and let it cook for about 20 minutes. And now we change to 400. Perfect, and 15 to 20 minutes, take a look at it. Uh, you want that puff pastry to become nice and golden brown. All right, so it's been cooking for about 15 minutes. Um, should be ready. Yeah, that's ready to come out. The beauty with puff pastry is that everything rises. The whole idea behind puff pastry is that it's many layers of pastry, all with butter in between. So as the butter cooks, it actually makes the pastry rise. So you have a nice fluffy crust. What I'm gonna be doing, I'm just gonna slice it into four. This is a perfect appetizer for four people. Uh, you can make it your like a, an actual meal, it's delicious. Um, 
very nutritious and you can substitute it for literally any toppings you want. I chose these, you can put meats on there, you can put different uh, vegetables. Whatever you like, it'll come out amazing either way. Now I let my pizza cool a little bit. Uh, to plate it, I've just actually cut out a square slice and I topped it off with some parsley. Uh, so look how awesome that looks. Sure is gonna be delicious.